I'm going to ask Alma to take any sharp objects away from Gary because he doesn't like it when anybody comes up here that he doesn't know about already. So, as we all know, uh, Gary's emceed this event and done such a wonderful job, uh, this being the 17th year. And uh, I was very honored that the committee, yeah, go ahead, applause. I was very honored that the committee asked me if I would be so kind as to come up and uh, say a few words and, and offer a token uh, to Gary. But uh, first, on behalf of the city, the entire city and the entire region, uh, we are so blessed and fortunate uh, to have Valerie Jarrett with us uh, this year for the King Luncheon. Uh, as you can see by the crowd, uh, everyone is very excited to be here today and to hear from you. Now, when it comes back to Gary, I thought, as someone that has attended this lunch uh, for as long as I can remember, one of the uh, fun parts of the lunch is when, you know, Gary does the introduction and he gets the rhyme thing going and, you know, sometimes I'm wondering, like, if I'm in church on Sunday or, or where I am. And I said to Alma, it would be really cool if we could uh, express the words to Gary in that type of a rhythm. And for those of you who know me, you know I have no rhythm. <laughs> I definitely don't have uh, that ability to, uh, especially to put it into a written format. So, uh, Alma worked her, her magic, and uh, we got some help from someone who everybody here knows. And so, um, I haven't seen her yet today, but wherever Dr. Rita Ali is, I would like her to right now acknowledge and take credit because she put this together really well. So wherever you are, Dr. Ali, thank you very much. So with no further ado, that's not the rhyme part, I'll start here. The number 17 has wide significance in math, science, and other cultural wonders. It provides solutions to many bloopers and blunders. In the Bible, the number 17 symbolizes overcoming the enemy and complete victory. A unique number, I'm sure you'll agree. Well, it's the number of years that Gary Moore has been the MC. He's bought, brought poison prestige and enough jokes to make you laugh. And before it's all over, people want his autograph. Thanks to the public employees for community concerns, we've heard phenomenal speakers, often with a fee worth more than Michael Jordan's sneakers. There was James Earl Jones, Andrew Young, and Michael Eric Dyson, Greg Gumbel, Tamron Hall, and Cicely Tyson. Harry Belafonte, Ben Jealous, and Ruby D, a star-studded lineup like no other city. And who could forget Maya Angelou, Danny Glover, or Patti LaBelle? The best of the best, as far as I can tell. We also had the privilege of meeting Martin Luther King III, the son of the man we honor with actions as strong as his word. And right there with them all was our own Gary Moore. No speaker had ever been introduced like that before. His introductions were electrifying, magnificent. This is no sugar coat. They were sometimes so long we thought he was the keynote. <laughs> we appreciate Gary's many years as MC of this event, his commitment to the dream, and the values he represents. He's authentic, top-notch, a Peoria sensation. Help me give Gary Moore a standing ovation.
And we have a small token of uh, thanks. To, we're going to leave here with Gary, but uh, Gary, thanks again. Uh, you've done a wonderful job representing our community uh, with speakers from throughout the world. Thank you. I'll get you for that. <laughs>